Let's explore the connectivity by installing MongoDB ODBC drivers and then connecting to the database. Let's download the drivers. I tried a couple of drivers and uh, the one that works is called Simba. Let's search for MongoDB ODBC driver. We scroll down, we see a Simba here. So let's go to that. I'll download the evaluation version and I choose my Windows ODBC driver and for desktop. I'll add to cart and I proceed to checkout. It has filled in all the details. I just say agree to terms and condition and place the order. Now I need to check the email for the link to downloads. So I've received three emails and one of them is the download. So there is a download link. Let me go to that and download the installable. So I have the installable downloaded. Open it. So since my SSI is a 32-bit version, I will install the 32-bit version of this driver. Next, I accept, next, 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 and finish. Before I continue setup, let me start my MongoDB database first. MongoDB, MongoD, my service is started. Let's configure the DSL now. So I go to ODBC32 and I add should start with Simba MongoDB ODBC driver. I say finish. And data source name I say Simba MongoDB driver. Description not needed. Server is localhost, which is correct. And say test. Successfully connected. Very good. I say OK. Let me fire up my SQL Server integration services. I'll open an existing project which has all the packages. Create a new package and name it. All right. Uh, to connect to MongoDB, we need to use make use of ODBC drivers. Before that, let me create a connection to MongoDB. I see ODBC here. I choose ODBC. Add. So I will create a new Simba ODBC driver, which does not exist here. So I choose Simba MongoDB driver. Let me test it. It is successful. Say OK, OK. I'll create a data flow task inside that. We need some data which we can send to MongoDB. Instead of any data, let, let's pick ICD-9 and ICD-10 codes of healthcare data. We'll talk about these ICD-9 and 10 codes in a future video in detail, uh, and we'll also do some analysis. So this data can be found on cms.gov. So let's go straight to that page. And here, the latest full and abbreviated codes. I'll download this file, I open it. It has, yep, this looks awesome. Let's enable editing and save it in our local folder, save as. This is ICD-9. I will store it in, all right, and we will import this data. I will also need ICD-10 codes. All right, this page has ICD-10 codes. Scroll down, ICD-10 list of codes and descriptions page. And it has ICD-10 CM codes 2017 text file. So these are all the ICD-10 codes. All right, right click, save as, go to data, Save. First, I'll open the ICD-9 code, which is stored in Excel file. So I choose a source assistant and 
choose Excel file and new and choose the Excel file that I have in data and say okay I will yeah okay and then I will go and verify the data before I verify I need to choose the Excel sheet worksheet where the data is stored go to columns I see the data I wanted before I create a destination here I want to make sure MongoDB has the structure to take this ICD-9 data in let me connect to MongoDB instance first go here Mongo and then I start my MongoDB service and here let's create a database healthcare and uh, let's create a sample record so that it creates the table structure too along with that I have already copied this insert statement so just insert it so this is a very simple record structure has code description and sh short description let's also create ICD 10 collection all right let's uh, <coughs> connect to ODBC and uh, we need to choose the ICD 9 and 10 I see test and test weights maybe it's connected to some other database I need to fix this back in uh, the ODBC driver where we define this so let's go back to the configure okay I'm connected to test database instead of that let's connect it to healthcare that we just created okay and test it it's all good say okay okay and here we come back one more time and pull it up we see ICD 9 and 10 I see some weird characters here but maybe I can just get rid of this prefix uh, so I need ICD 9 here then go to mapping everything looks good if it was same name SSIS maps them automatically so, all right so this one looks good save it and run okay looks like 14 and half thousand records are written onto mongodb so let's verify that it's fine pretty oh yeah we we see all the codes description excellent we are done with icd 9 let's do icd 10 for that i will create another uh, parallel data flow so I will name this as ICD10 and the other one I will name it as all right this looks good get inside this so next let's uh, let's bring uh, ICD10 data so I choose source assistant it's always easier with this flat file new okay and I choose ICD 10 codes file. Now this is okay. As you can see, it is the codes and uh, the names or the description is not separated. So what we can do here is we will make it a fixed fixed width one. Ragged right. This is good enough. And then uh, let's see so let's mark it so till this line it will become the first column and rest of them will be the second column that is description now i do understand that there is a comma and it was supposed to go into the next i'll just remove this delete this uh, it was supposed to go into the next column but we'll deal with that uh, data issue later in the next video or something like that for now I'll just separate the code and description uh, let's check the data preview yeah this is how it's looking and I will also remove this so that first row is also considered as data this is looking good so let's send this data to uh, MongoDB connect it so that Mongo knows the data that we are sending into 
and I give the table name as when I go to mapping, we should be able to see because as lower case I see the mapping. There we have first column is code, second one is description. Short is not there. I just say okay, save it. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so it transferred 9000 records but also failed on some records. I guess it is because of some data issues. So we see that uh, some records failed because uh, they have some data conversion issues, uh, which is very normal and uh, in real world you will always find some data that is not of good quality and we have tons of different uh, transformations and ways to deal with the erroneous data or uh, data quality issues in some of our future videos we will also learn how to manage our data and cleanse the data using some transformations such as fuzzy logic but for now we'll wrap up this video wherein we successfully transferred some ICD9 and ICD10 codes using SSIS from flat source as well as Excel file format to MongoDB. Hope you learned something from this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up as well as leave some comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a good day.